So this makeup look is super simple and super matte, I'm not joking. So I already applied foundation, concealer, and set it all with powder. And I'm literally using two shadow colors for this look from the Naked Basics palette. First is Naked 2 and I'm applying this all over the lids. Next I'm taking Faint and applying that to my crease to add a little definition. And that's literally it for shadows. Next, I'm taking the Physician's Formula Liquid Eyeliner Pen and drawing the smallest wings you've ever seen in your entire life. Next, I'm taking a black pencil liner and I'm going to line half of my bottom lash line. This looks so 90s, I can't even deal. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do my brow routine real quick and I'll be back. And we're back! Next, I'm gonna go in with my NARS blush. This is in the color Exhibit A, and it looks crazy, but on darker skin tones, it looks amazing. Then I'm applying my Ardell Demi Wispies. I didn't know that they were blue until I put them on, but pero like you know, life goes on. For lips, I'm mixing two colors together. First is NARS's lip pencil in the color Cruella, which is like a dark red color. And the second is a Cella lip pencil in the color Mauve, which is um, a mauve color. Then I noticed the color wasn't showing up that well, so I just applied the pencils directly onto my lips. Like this. Oh, there we go. There it is. So in the video, Lisa doesn't actually have the black under her left eye, but in order to make this look a little bit more um, like recognizable, I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway. So I'm just going to draw, and I'm using the same physician's formula eyeliner the 90s were very matte so I'm not gonna add any like crazy highlight or anything I'm gonna you know keep it really like deep and mauve -y and matte so this is the makeup look and let's move on to the hair so I'm just going to comb through my hair and then straighten it now the ends of the hair are what's going to be your bangs so you want to make sure that the ends are really 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 straight otherwise if they're like curled at the ends your bangs are going to be curly now we're going to create some fake bangs my hair is so long it literally touches my butt so this will take a little bit more time and effort but if you have hair that's shorter than mine this is just going to be a lot easier trust me <laughs> so i'm going to start with combing my hair forward now if you've ever noticed when a stylist cuts your bangs, they cut it in a triangle shape like this so that the hair falls to create your bangs. Otherwise, if you cut it straight across, it's just going to look blunt and just really weird because our heads are spherical, not two-dimensional lines. So we're just going to follow this triangle rule when creating the fake bangs. First, what you're going to want to do is section a large chunk of hair in the front Throw that in a pony. Then comb and gather the rest of your hair into a high ponytail. Comb back that front section. You want to make sure that when you comb back this front section, it's as close to your scalp as possible. So I'm using a wave brush in order to achieve that. Then throw that into a high pony right at the crown of your head. Okay, now here's where the triangle rule comes in. So flip that pony back to the front but position it so that the ends of your hair creates the bangs. You want to gather the hair at the top where your hair tie is so you can maintain that triangle shape. 
When I explain this in words, it literally sounds impossible, but if you guys just look at what I'm doing, it will all make sense, I promise. Uh, if you find that some pieces are a lot longer than others, move those longer pieces to the outside of your bangs so that you're not like catching pieces of hair in your eyeballs. Then when you have it all situated, ready to go, bobby pin it down. And you're going to be left with this like flap thing. So now you're going to gather all of the hair on your head, including that flap that you just created that connects to your bangs and just throw it into a high messy bun. And from here you can kind of like adjust your hair so that your bangs look a little bit better so you can pull pieces out, make them longer, you could try to like tuck them back in. Um, just try to make your bangs look as full as possible. My hair is so uneven because I haven't had a haircut in like two years, so it's a little difficult for me, but if your hair is a little bit more even and full at the ends, then this would be a lot easier. Now, when I did this look three years ago, I had a long piece of red satin, just like Lisa did in the music video, but I don't have that anymore, don't know where it is. I did, however, have a random red ribbon lying around, so I'm just gonna tie that around the bun. Now, as far as the outfit goes, super simple, guys. Calvin Klein underwear, and I got this red satin pajama set from Macy's, and even though I bought it for a Halloween costume, I can still reuse it. Now, I've got a nice pair of satin pajamas. <laughs> 